You know, I think I'm going to get a pizza here at the Rivers Casino today. I'm in the mood. It's the North Shore. It's the ambiance. It's the clean, crisp Miller Lite. Don't worry, he's not drinking because we've got to go on the air. But Noah's got a lot to fill his cup with. Is it half full or half empty with what you saw with Pitt yesterday? Um, I don't know if we're on the full side of things yet, but yesterday was a huge, huge win for Pitt. When you're struggling to beat teams like North Carolina, when you're getting blown out by Penn State, by Central Florida, you need any kind of positive break that you can have. And to have a big home win in overtime against a Syracuse team that not too long ago took Clemson down to the wire, that will be, you know, probably an eight or nine win team maybe. Uh, that's that's a big confidence booster that's going to help you get better recruits, uh, and that's a reassurance for Pat and our team that he really needs. Listen, he went to Pine Richland. Great respect for the Jerkovic family and young Phil. But if you watch Notre Dame, I don't think he's going to get on the field anytime soon. And I think it would be a great recruiting weekend next weekend for everybody to go to South Bend and start going, Phil, we want you in Pitt. I think that would be nice, although Kenny Pickett's getting better. But you can't argue, it was wonderful to see them get that win yesterday. Hey, remember Sean Miller stole T.J. McConnell from Duquesne when Duquesne visited Arizona, and Sean was whispering his ear in the handshake line. It goes on nowadays, and transfers happen. It would be a nice addition for me. But that was a big win yesterday. So, and by the way, Coach Narduzzi mentioned, you know, in one of the sound clips that I had in my sports reports, brought to you by Coons Quality Foods, Foods this morning. I know what fans were thinking. Once it was 14 to nothing, they were saying, here we go again. And I went, did you listen to last week's show? <laughs> but I'm, I love Coach Narduzzi, and I think it's just a great win. And all I know is they need to continue to stay the course. But I got to talk about Zeiss. I got to talk about Ford, Jackson. What about the defense? What do you see? Well, they are coming around. They still gave up a lot of points yesterday. Uh, another good name that's in that mix is Quentin Virginis, the, the middle linebacker, who may not be a Shazier like guy, but the guy in the middle could be someone way down the line. I'm not talking about an immediate fix, but that's the type of guy we were talking about the Steelers. So they do have a very good set of defenders, but they got run up a little bit. All right, come on close. What are your buddies? Yeah, much like the Steelers, you know, they're a defense that needs to improve. Uh, Coach Narduz has been here, what, four years ago? So that's this is the time frame where he needs to step it up. You can't hold him responsible for the players he had the first couple years, but now these are his guys. He's handpicked them. And they can start stepping up. You know, uh, as a football fan, um, you never know what team they're going to put on the field. You see, they took Clemson to the end last week. Okay, so you thought they'd come in here and they would uh, take Pitt out. What team? I don't know what kind of team. Uh, next week, the other day, you would, one would think you're going to lose. You don't know. You right. don't know. Listen, they're going to join us on the radio, too. If you think they look good and sound good with this, you'll wait till you hear them on the radio, folks. You're going to love them. It's the Coons Market Black and Gold Sunday Show. And again, thanks to the folks at Rivers Casino for making it definitely worth our while coming over and it will definitely be worth your while to come here and watch some great NFL football, get some great food, Miller Lite, and uh, play a few of those games of chances because you just never know. Good morning.